Hey everyone, this is a introduction to blockchain for complete beginners. I wanted to make this video just to make it a little bit easier for people to get started learning about blockchain and understanding the technology. So blockchain is a new technology at the confluence of economics and cryptography. It's a really cool system because it brings together two different fields in a new way. The technology for blockchain is really amazing because it relies on novel forms of cryptography that are more secure than any existing security system. And in doing so, it allows for global transactions to be facilitated. Uh, it's amazing to be able to send something of value anywhere around the world instantaneously. And that's what blockchains allow us to do. So there's no need for third party intermediaries to facilitate transactions with blockchains because it's a peer-to-peer -peer network. In other words, you can send from one person to another person anywhere instantly. There's also equality and access in blockchains. So blockchains allow people to be able to start earning and to help to change the dynamics of inequality, which is really prevalent all across the world because blockchains allow people to be able to take control of their own finances and assets and income generation. Blockchains are also open source, so most of the blockchain technology you can find on any open source repository, such as uh, sites like GitHub, where like they have just massive volumes of code being developed by open source developers. So there's no, uh, there's a, there's a lot less proprietary or, or, or patented or protected technology. Most of it's available for the public, and as a result, that's allowing blockchains to create a vast source of public wealth. So it really is a technology that benefits the public, which I think is a really great thing because traditional financial systems, even though they're, they might be designed or the mission may state that they're, they're, they're developed to benefit the public, they, they don't, right? They, they develop, they, traditional financial institutions, at least in the United States, benefit private companies. I mean, even whenever they're government run or, or public run, so to speak, but blockchains themselves are, are really new forms of public wealth and uh, public access for opportunity. So Bitcoin is the first blockchain. It's also the largest uh, cryptocurrency in the world. It was founded by a guy named Satoshi Nakamoto or a pseudonym, so it might not be a one person, it might be a small team. Um, nobody really knows who Satoshi Nakamoto really is, so this was just a pseudonym, and I think that's part of why Bitcoin is so popular is because it's a mystery of, of no one knowing who uh, the real founder was. In my opinion, it was Hal Finney. If you're more interested in learning about Hal Finney, you can Google him. But um, Bitcoin really was an amazing thing because it was this first peer-to-peer -peer network, first blockchain to allow these types of transactions to occur. But there are still a lot of problems with Bitcoin. It's still really expensive to send Bitcoin and it's, it's really slow. Bitcoin transactions can take a couple hours um, and the software itself, it can take a couple of days to download. So Bitcoin, it, it's slow and there are problems. So uh, new blockchains are developing. And my favorite blockchain is Algorand. Now, Algorand is the best blockchain technology. It's faster, cheaper, more secure than Bitcoin. And it started at MIT by a guy named Silvio Michali, who is a world-renowned cryptographer. So Algorand is a layer one blockchain. What that means is that Algorand is like an internet of money. It is that foundational layer on which new applications can be built. So there are what are called layer two applications on Algorand, which allow people to, to use that internet of money, that blockchain, to, to do new types of things or to, um, for example, uh, ChoiceCoin is used for voting and governance on the Algorand blockchain. It's the world's uh, first global, globally secure voting system and because of the cryptography that underlies the blockchain that application is able to facilitate global votes with instantaneous results so there's a lot that can be done with blockchains beyond just sort of like money uh, and it's, it's exciting to see how uh, how those kind of applications evolve but um, in terms of you know what are blockchains or, or algorand used most for it would probably be payments as a store of value for for wealth and then for finance I think Algorand is by far the best blockchain for decentralized finance 
because it allows people to be able to have control of their assets. You know, if if you have assets in a bank, then you know you're losing money because the value of the assets you're storing in the bank are going to uh, depreciate with inflation, and the bank's going to charge you fees, and you're not going to get very good, if any, interest with the bank. So you're essentially paying to lose money by putting your money in a bank. And, and banks will also tell you when to use it, right? They'll say that you can't use your this much or, or this amount at this time, and there's really nothing you can do. And if you know the bank loses your money, they're not going to reimburse you. I think anybody who's ever banked uh, with a bank, and at least in the United States, knows that banks have horrible customer service. They don't uh, respond to customers, you can't even get a hold of somebody at a bank. I mean, if you call, you're going to wait on hold for a couple hours. So, I mean, banks are really terrible, and I think that's why um, Algorand is really awesome. It's because it's this new form of finance that, that gives people power to be able to control their own money and not have to worry about, um, you know, what banks are going to steal from them. So, you know, where where is the opportunity? How do you actually, you know, make money with uh, blockchain. That's one of the common questions that people have when they first start. Like, how do I cut through the, the BS and, and get to what what when I, when I can earn? And I would say there's there's you know a couple ways to do that. So the first is just coding. If you're you know coding, uh, it's just it's good to find grant opportunities for developers. There's a lot of grant opportunities on sites like Gitcoin Grants, for example, where you can uh, just you know code for cryptocurrency. Grants, the Algorand Foundation, for example, has a really great grants program where you can apply to get grants. A lot of other blockchains also have grant programs. There's also a lot of opportunity for other professionals, too, people who are interested in marketing, community development, uh, or advocacy. So there's a lot of ways that you can, you can earn. You can also mine cryptocurrency um, if you have a lot of computing power or novel algorithms to do so. But generally, I would say the best way to, to start is just to uh, I mean to learn to code I think is probably the best way, but if you're interested you can always hop into a Discord and work on other types of things like marketing or community, um, and I think there's a market for that as well. Uh, there's definitely uh, a lot of opportunity in using cryptocurrency. So if you create your own cryptocurrency or your own digital asset, and those words are generally interchangeable, you can uh, you can create wealth that way. You can also stake your cryptocurrency or attach it to a smart contract, which will allow more cryptocurrency to come to your address. Uh, you can uh, work in loan protocols and loan cryptocurrency for interest, or you can put it in liquidity pools so people can trade cryptocurrency and you can earn interest on that as well. Generally, these three, stake, loan, and pool, all require like a decent bit of cryptocurrency to, to really uh, generate wealth. Um, so I think the best way sort of to, to start if you're just sort of like, you know, just finishing school or just looking for sort of like a side hustle type of deal, like earning through, through getting into discord and finding opportunities and, and being a professional is really the best way. A lot of people talk about investing in cryptocurrency, you know, it, investing in cryptocurrency is not a good idea. It's extremely high risk and generally just not advised it. If you have digital assets, you want to use them as keys. So you want to ask, you know, if if I have this digital asset, how how can I use it to to make more money, or how can I use it to get more digital assets? So th that's the way that I think about it. Because if you're just buying and holding it, there are people who can make money doing that, and I think a lot of times it's because they get lucky or they don't know what they're buying. Uh, you want to know what you're buying and what you're going to do with the asset once you you hold it. Uh, so to get started, um, I think you know a really great way is to download a wallet. Um, Pair Wallet is really great for Algorand. You can download that for, for Android or in the App Store, or you can download Bitcoin Core, which is the uh, Bitcoin Core software code off GitHub. Um, you can also, for Pair Wallet, you can go to a site called Algo Faucet, and on Algo Faucet, you're able to just um, send your address once you have a wallet and you can receive a uh, free algo to get started to uh, start moving on the algorand blockchain which is really cool so definitely check out algo faucet i'll put a link in the uh, description 
Uh, you also can get on exchanges, right? So centralized exchanges are the intermediary between blockchains and, and banks, traditional finance, like Coinbase, OKCoin, OK Makara. These are all different types of uh, either exchanges or entities that help people get started in crypto. Uh, decentralized exchanges are like Tinyman and AlgoFi. Definitely check out those websites um, if you're interested in, in the DeFi space. AlgoFi um, and Tinyman both really, really cool innovations on the algorithm blockchain. And with that, thank you so much for your time. If you have questions, please just go ahead and post them in the comments um, and I'll get to them and uh, have a great day. Thanks.